there are stranger things occurring today than usually happen around Chapman. Ah! Ah! Good morning everybody, it is Shelby and Paris and we're back and we have a big, big, big fun day. It's gonna be a day. It's going to be a day. So right now we're just getting ready to go and eat lunch and then afterwards we're going to the Duffer Brothers master class. We're gonna be in the same room. We're gonna be breathing the same air as, as the, the Duffer, Duffer Brothers. Brothers. Duffer Brothers University. Oh, Pretty classy, Morlin. She's done. Okay, Paris, we'll do a little outfit of the day. What, what are you wearing, girlfriend? It's literally a black shirt and some mini And some really cute baseball shoes. I mean, yeah, I don't really support Dodgers or... You support the Giants, right? <clears throat> Yeah, she's a Giants I don't fan. Know she's labeled a Giants this fan. This is what happens when you ride horse. Hey Shelby, can I be in your vlog? Okay, bye Kyle. Bye. Oh, we're on our way to Dodge. I mean, Duffer. Are we? Are we? Are we matching today? I like your camera. Oh. <laughs> I was like, no, we're not matching. Like, yeah, matching. but again with the outfit of the day thing, you got a nice black and white, black and gray shirt and oh, ripped okay. jeans. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> We made it in, you know. Cameras and all. Excited. Yeah, super excited. We're just waiting for you guys to get here. Um, it's sold out. That's really exciting. Okay, Paris, do you have a favorite Duffer Brother? I don't know. They look similar, so I don't know who's who. Do you have a favorite Duffer Brother? Ross. Sure. Ross, why? Which like one's Ross? They are definitely cuties. Such an exciting event. So much waiting. Look I've done too much waiting today. They're already here. See? What camera is yeah, it? It's perfect. Hey Ricky. This is a Sony Alpha 58. <laughs> Two of the most creative minds in our industry today. And without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome our very own Matt and Ross Dover. Duffer for the stage. Woo! Oh, look at them go! They're so cute! I will say we've never given any sort of class before, so this could be disaster. But, um, I guess I wanted to start out with some good news, which is for the people here that are, that are in film or TV, that you can totally, you can definitely succeed in this industry, because I know, I know what it's like. Your parents are worried. Your oh my relatives. God. <laughs> I mean, I just remember going home. Like, I'm doing film, and they're like, "Okay, when is he gonna do? When are they gonna do something real? Like, when are they gonna get a real job?" It's really, really hard. And I, I know some people maybe point to us and go like, "Oh, well, look, the Duffers did it pretty relatively quickly." But for us, it didn't. It didn't. It, it felt like a very long journey, and, it, and it's still a journey. But to get here. And it was hard, and we almost gave up so many times, and you just feel beat up. I remember when, when the show came out and, and it was a success, um, you know, you get a lot of emails and people reaching out, and some of the people that, that reach out are people that inspired us in the first place. And these are, these are filmmakers that we grew up loving, and we wouldn't be here without them. And so it was amazing to hear from them, and every email we got was, it was incredible. But the one that stuck with me the most was this, was this guy. Uh, I won't say his name, but he's an amazing, amazing filmmaker. And he said, just remember, you, I guess I'll curse. Oh, he just, just remember you will f*** up. And that was, to me, that if I could tell myself like that, and it's okay. His thing is it's okay. Like even now with the success, you're going to fail. It doesn't matter. It hurts every time, right? And you have to just go, okay. What can I learn from this? And you just keep building yourself back up, and you get up, and you do it again. And it's hard, but you do it. Well, that's a great lesson. It's really about vulnerability and making yeah. yourself vulnerable. Because it really, at the end of the day, if you don't do that, you're not going to find out more about yourself. That's right. right? Yeah, okay. yeah. And you have to. You have the first thing you put out there, whatever you put out there, is not. It's not going to be necessarily embraced. And to not take that too much to heart. We're going to John's class. We're going to the last time with the first Hopefully he's not mad, but um... Wow! That was really awesome and insightful. I'm so excited to be a Dodge kid now. Ah! John! Oh shoot, okay. Do you want to go in first? It is about time, I am so sorry. Okay, 
too. Oh, this is the legendary John Vandegriff. <laughs> oh my gosh, we we talk about you all the time. You are our favorite. You're our so inspiration. Out, what? <laughs> what? You're our inspiration. He's he's an amazing screenwriting professor. So if you have to take Aww. screenwriting, I hecka recommend. Hecka. Hecka recommend. recommend. John Vandegriff, screenwriting 227. He's also known as the <gasps> official ambassador ah! of Cofete. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Oh. I love your delayed oh, reaction. Oh my, oh my. It's that so was, good. That was it's my so Halloween. Good. What, a, what a good man. That's amazing. Oh my. I need to appreciate that one. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh my Vandegriff. So, I posted this on Facebook. Uh -huh. And I put um, something like, um, now starring in the Senior Citizen production. You know what I told you? It was amazing how many of my Facebook friends thought I was actually performing. <laughs> Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream Code. I think you could pull it off. Look, it's Halloween, off. people! Pull it off. You could. I could totally pull it off. All right. Have an amazing week. You too. Glad See ya. Glad to be in your vlog. Since it is Friday, we are on our way to Contra Coffee, and Michael and I are coordinating outfits today. And we're walking in the street so we don't get wet. Um, how, how are the sprinklers, guys? Did you guys get wet? Been blessed. I'm here with Abby uh, hello. Yeah. and Paris yeah. and Michael Nicholas the Golden Oreo. <laughs> Wait, hold up. He likes that. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's all <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got juice box. I got juice box. <laughs> and Paris got coffee. Coffee. And I got the orange cream soda. So super quick story time. I was sitting here and I ha was holding my camera and I looked over there and a little doggo was walking. And then all of a sudden the little doggo walked straight up to me, jumped up on my bag and just went <laughs> and I pet the dog and I started crying. She really did. She I love cried. Dogs. I love horses. Hi. He loves I love lamb. clothes. Oh. What did you say? I love lamb. Uh, it's a reference. I know, but I'm trying to figure out what it's I can't from. I don't know what it's from either. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Anchorman. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, the Duffer Brothers, they said some really interesting and, like, inspiring stuff, and it really hyped me up to be a student here. One thing that I thought was really cute and really funny that they said was, um, as every kid does when they were little, like they'd make up stories with their toys and their characters and stuff and they'd play with them. However, they would set a timer for two hours and play it out like a movie. And when it was 15 minutes, like right before the timer was gonna end, one of them would be like, oh, gotta start wrapping up the movie, gotta start tying up all the loose ends. And I thought that was absolutely adorable. They also said that the kids who are gonna succeed in this industry are the kids who are working their hardest and the kids that are putting out content and the ones that just don't give up. So I am not gonna give up. I'm gonna be working my butt off and I am trying my hardest. So if you wanna join me on my creative journey, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and turn on your post notifications so you can see every time I post a video, which is daily, hint, hint. Also tomorrow, Paris is taking over the vlog while I'm going to be a makeup artist over at StyleCon. So get ready for a little bit of story about that in another video. So, goodbye!